Hello again everybody, Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Welcome to the year 2010 and welcome to our Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Today we take a look at one of the latest Intel motherboards to hit the market. This is the new Intel DH55TC motherboard. This is one of Intel's latest media series motherboards that supports the new i5, i7, and i3 Clarkdale CPUs. Follow along as we show you the features of this new motherboard. The DH55TC has support for the Core i7, i5, and i3 processors. It also uses four DIMM sockets and can use up to 16 gigabytes of memory. It uses dual channel DDR3 up to 1600 megahertz and features VGA, DVI-D plus HDMI graphics support. If you look at the PCIe and PCI graphics support, you notice that there's no support for SLI or Crossfire. A great thing is that this motherboard does support SATA 3.0 and it has an estimated street price of $40. Prices may vary. It supports LAN of 10, 100, and 1000 as a micro ATX form factor motherboard. For those wanting high quality sound for building an HTPC, this motherboard features 8 channel Intel HD audio. It also has 6 SATA ports including 2 eSATA external ports. There are 12 high speed USB ports. There's no firewire though. Here we show you a shot of the retail box for the DH55TC followed by a picture of the motherboard. Here we show you the rear I.O. of the motherboard, which features DVI, VGA, and an HDMI connections. You'll notice that there are no uh, digital audio ports or SPDIF, but this is covered through the HDMI port. Here's a shot of the SIF socket, followed by where the video cards go, and a shot of where the memory goes. Here are the SATA ports, and here's a test system we used. Notice that everything was run at standard because this is a new system. We'll try to get to the overclocking test later, but for now we just ran everything at its standard clock speeds. As you can see in most tests, the Asus motherboard is faster, but it's also almost twice the cost as the other motherboard. The new Intel DH55TC motherboard has a lot to offer those people who want to have an all-in-one integrated solution and who want to build an HTPC or a lower-end budget computer. It has really great features. One thing it's missing is there is no support for RAID at all. That might daunt some users, but for most that'll be really no big deal. Overall, I say Intel has a success. I give this editor's choice and a thumbs up for the new Intel DH55TC motherboard. Thank you very much.